Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create headphone mixes in Reaper. Now I have a track in front of us here, and a band is ready to record their song. We have some drum tracks, a few bass tracks, a couple of guitars, and a vocal. And I also have a click track to keep the band in time. So let's put all the tracks in record by selecting them, hit record, and let's hear what it sounds like. Now we need a way for the band to hear themselves. So if we have a hardware audio interface with more than two outputs, we can create a separate headphone mix that's different from what we're hearing in the control room. So here's how I do it. I make a new track, name it Headphones. And I'm gonna set the output of this track to a separate stereo pair on our interface. So we'll go to Routing, Turn off the master pair and send, because we don't want this track going to our main output. And instead, under audio hardware outputs, we'll choose a different stereo pair. Here's output one and two. We could choose three and four, or whatever you're not using. I'm gonna use 19 and 20, which is labeled headphones left and right. And the send is full output, zero dB, and it's also post fader. So if we change the level here, we change the level of a headphone mix. So now we need to send all of these tracks to the headphone track. Now we could do this by dragging and dropping them right here, but it's a bit quicker to do it with the routing matrix. So let's go to view, choose routing matrix, and here are our tracks right here. Here's the headphone track. See the master parent send is turned off. Now we're gonna send all these tracks right over here to a headphone track. And instead of hitting one at a time like this, we could just drag them right from here down to here. And notice there's an X right here because we can't send the headphone track to itself, which we don't wanna do anyway. So now we have a send for each one of these to the headphone track, which we could see on each one of them right here. So a kick is going to the headphone track and the headphone track is going to the hardware output headphones left and right. And over here, we can see all the receives, which is the exact same thing as the sends over here, just on the other side. So we can rebalance our mix, go into the headphone mix right over here, or we can mute things like the kick or our click track or the vocal. So it's a completely separate mix from what we're hearing in the control room. And if we want to monitor it, go back to the routing matrix, take all these tracks out of the master parent send by dragging them. So now we shouldn't hear anything. And we don't and send the headphone track to the master pair and send. So now we should hear everything in the control room coming through this track. And we could turn it off right here. So we're monitoring or hearing the headphone mix in the control room. And we could put it back right from here and take the headphones out of the master parent send so we're no longer hearing them in the control room. Now we're hearing it from over here. So now we can create a separate mix. Let's say for instance, in the control room, we don't wanna hear the click track. We could go to the master parent send and turn it off for the click track and we don't hear it in the control room but the headphone mix is still hearing it. Watch. And again, we can monitor it 
by switching it here, turning it back on here, and we could hear what the band is hearing. So that's their mix. And this is ours. Now we can make as many different mixes as we want. Let's make another one. We'll call it Headphones 2. And let's do the same thing. Open this one up. Send this to output 21 and 22, which is where our separate headphone mix is plugged into on a hardware audio interface. Go to the routing matrix. Take it out of the master parent send. And send all these tracks to headphones too. So now this track has its own separate headphone mix. So let's set them up differently. Let's say in the control room, we want to hear everything except for the click track, which is what we did right here. We're taking the click track out of the master parent send. So we won't hear it in the control room. But on our first headphone mix, right here, we're going to hear everything, including the click. But let's say on the second headphone mix, it's set up for the drummer, and he just wants to hear the click, but not the rest of the band. So we'll turn off the bass and the guitars and the vocal but we'll keep the click. So now if we want to hear this, go back to the routing matrix, turn the master parent send on for this one and off for the others. And now we're just hearing this track. So that's the mix the drummer's hearing in his headphones, which is set up on output 21 and 22. But the rest of the band is hearing our first headphone mix, which is output 19 and 20. So what they're hearing is this. Put this back on. And in the control room, what we're hearing is this, everything except for the click. And we can readjust that on the fly. Instead of opening each track, let's say we want to turn off the guitars, instead of opening this one and turning it off here, we can just select the guitar tracks, hold an option on the Mac or alt on the PC, and click the routing button, and it takes it out of the master parent send. So we're not hearing the guitars, but the rest of the band on this headphone mix still is. So it's a quick way of creating separate headphone mixes for the band versus us in the control room, or even setting up several headphone mixes just like this. And we could also put a track icon on these tracks. Go to phones, and we can quickly see that these tracks are our headphone mixes. And when the band's done playing and they come back in the control room, we could turn them off right here so the headphones aren't being used when the band's not playing. So anyway, that's creating headphone mixes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bye.